The richest terrestrial ecosystems on the planet are found in rainforests. Numerous thousands of rare species of plants, animals, and insects call this vast, uninhabited wilderness home. Imagine breathtaking displays of brightly colored birds, monkeys swinging high in the trees, unusual amphibians, slinking reptiles, or stunning waterfalls and foliage in a variety of green tones. The rainforests are enigmatic. Numerous previously unknown animals and plants with remarkable traits can be found in rainforests. Our health and well-being depend on the crucial services that rainforests provide, such as climate stabilization, water purification, and medicinal characteristics, but many uncharted distant areas of the jungle remain unexplored. These fascinating details on the world's remaining rainforests were compiled to help you understand the significance of these distinctive ecosystems. So let's wander around in the jungle together. Presented by AWZ. Did you realize that there are also temperate rainforests? Everyone has heard of tropical jungles. As the name implies, rainforests thrive in regions of the world that receive an average of 100 inches millimeters, of rain annually. This means that every continent, with the exception of Antarctica's ice cap, is home to them. Anywhere between the tropics and the polar circles is capable of supporting temperate rainforests. They used to cover almost all of the continents. Today barely half of these old woods remained in southeastern Australia, New Zealand, and North America. The greatest temperate rainforest extends from Alaska's Prince William Sound all the way up to Northern California along the Pacific Northwest coast of North America. Large coniferous trees like Douglas fir, western red cedar, and Sitka spruce that are covered in moss and ferns on the ground are typical of this habitat. You can travel to the United States and see temperate lush rainforests in the Quinault, Queets, Ho, and Bogachiel Valleys, for instance, at Olympic National Park in Washington. A wide range of organisms can thrive in tropical rainforests due to the favorable temperature. The main causes of forests remaining green throughout the year and providing a thriving environment for numerous living things are ample rainfall mixed with warmer temperatures. More than half of all plant, animal, and insect species depend on the tropical rainforest ecosystem, even though rainforests make up only 6% of the planet's geographical area. Estimates place the number of species at around 30 million. The majority of them have evolved in a unique ecosystem that only rainforests can offer, thus they are unable to survive anywhere else. Did you know that the majority of primates on planet reside in the Amazon rainforest? Tamarin, howler, Amazon spider, Amazon squirrel, marmoset, and many other species can be found in this untamed jungle. Orchids, lianas, palm trees, chameleons, jaguars, gorillas, sloths, Turtles, macaws, anacondas, anteaters, capybaras, and piranhas are a few other notable rainforest species. In fact, it is still unclear exactly which species are present in this enormous ecosystem. The number of animal species that inhabit the rainforest is unknown. According to WWF, a new species is discovered in the depths of the Amazon rainforest every three days. Useful medications can be found in large quantities in tropical jungles. According to the U.S. National Cancer Institute, 70% of plants with cancer-curing qualities come from rainforests. A quarter of all Western medications, including those for arthritis, glaucoma, cancer, diabetes, muscular tension, malaria, rheumatism, inflammation, and many other illnesses, have originated from plants found in rainforests. For instance, you may have heard of Lapacho, a herbal tea prepared from the Pau Diarco tree's inner bark. Lapacho is well known for treating illnesses like allergies, asthma, pneumonia, diabetes, and infections. It is beyond dispute that rainforests hold the key to developing potent treatments for a number of our major diseases. Only 1% of the plants hidden in our rainforests have had their therapeutic qualities studied, according to the Nature Conservancy. The therapeutic potential of the remaining 99% has yet to be identified, 1. 
If we knew how much medication the rainforest produces and how important it is to our health, it is likely that it would be conserved and constantly monitored. Indigenous people who have lived in the jungle for millennia without encountering outsiders can be found in many areas of the tropical rainforests. The Amazon rainforest is home to around 250,000 indigenous people. The great reverence and traditional knowledge of the rainforest and its resources have served as the foundation of their culture. They include the Anain Na. In Brazil's Mato Grosso State's Amazon rainforest, a tribe of about 500 people resides. The tribe is renowned for having mastered the art of great fishing, using wooden dams across little rivers to catch a lot of fish. Unfortunately, the enormous plans of the government of Mato Grosso to construct hydroelectric dams across their rivers have put the livelihood of these people in jeopardy. But indigenous people are not the only ones who live in jungles. Moreover, 1.2 billion of the world's poorest people, or around 90%, rely significantly on rainforests for their daily needs. For instance, according to Greenpeace, approximately 20 million people reside in the Brazilian portion of the Amazon and their lives are inextricably linked to the rainforest. Even though the bulk of these people reside in nearby cities or villages, they nevertheless rely on the forest for food, tools, and medicine. Ein forests influence the global pattern of precipitation. Did you realize that the water cycle depends heavily on rainforests? By breathing out copious volumes of water vapor into the environment, they do this. What causes that to occur? The dense floor of the rainforest behaves like a sponge when it rains, absorbing copious amounts of water through the roots of the trees. Water is then transferred into the branches and leaves for food through their trunk. Water that is in excess is returned to the atmosphere as vapor. Transpiration is the term for this action. The vapor that is produced helps to generate rain clouds, which then produce more rain. According to estimates, the Amazon receives more than half of its rainfall from plant transpiration. The Center for International Forestry Research, CIFR, claims that one of the major global drivers of the water cycle is moisture flowing from the Amazon. On the satellite photographs from orbit, you can even see the water vapor clouds forming above the rainforest and being swept away by the wind currents. Images demonstrate that vapor from the Amazon showers down on the Earth as far away as Texas. Similar to how Southeast Asian rainforests send rain to China and Southeastern Europe. Therefore, even thousands of miles distant from them, the rainforests have an impact on the amount of rainfall we receive. Forests serve as significant carbon sinks. The carbon cycle on Earth depends in large part on rainforests. The dense flora of tropical rainforests is thought to store over 230 billion tons of carbon. This is equal to about 30 years worth of fossil fuel carbon emissions. During the process of photosynthesis, when plants utilize the atmospheric carbon to construct their bodies, rainforests absorb significant volumes of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Because oxygen is released back into the atmosphere during photosynthesis, rainforests are frequently referred to as the lungs of the planet. The rainforest's year-round green flora serves to purify the air and replenish the environment with oxygen. Ancient rainforests continue to disappear around the planet as our contemporary lifestyle dictates a greater need for resources. Only a third of the original six million square miles of tropical forest is still present. Cattle pastures, soy or palm oil plantations are replacing the lush and dense tropical vegetation. However, the carbon that was stored in the trees' bodies is released back into the atmosphere after they are gone. Scientists believe that increased deforestation in the tropics has resulted in the release of 1.14 billion tons of carbon annually, accounting for 6 to 17 percent of global carbon emissions, according to statistics from 2012. As a result, while rainforests are one of the world's greatest carbon storage areas and can help to cut greenhouse gas emissions, their continued destruction also has the potential to hasten climate change and exacerbate already extreme weather patterns. Did you know that in order to produce our garments, tropical rainforests are destroyed and replaced with enormous monoculture eucalyptus and acacia plantations? 
Every year, 2.4 million acres of the Indonesian rainforest are removed to make room for the production of pulp wood. Fabrics like rayon and viscose, which are used to manufacture a range of apparel items, including dresses and t-shirts, are made from pulp. Customers from countries far from the rainforest, the United States, Europe, and Asia, are frequently marketed to clothing. In every way, rainforests are related to our health, way of life, food preferences, and even economy. However, their level of destruction is concerning. Our choices to take more land and turn it from a vibrant jungle to the exhausted, overexploited tract are today determining the future of countless creatures, plants, and people. Instead, we should work to preserve our lovely rainforests for the sake of both ourselves and future generations on this planet. Nothing compares to the rush of searching the jungle for tigers while being aware that they might already be observing you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell your friends about it so we can make more like it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this and don't forget to activate the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thank you for viewing.